start the concept of uh, coming up with an idea for a new car. It's probably the funnest part of the whole process. The radical ideas are thrown in so that you can start thinking, where's the limit? McLaren has made some legendary cars, like the McLaren F1, held the production speed record for nearly a decade. The 12C, an amazing road car, and now the P1. So as I've worked on this franchise, I've fallen in love with a lot of cars. In fact, this is sort of a dream job for someone who loves cars because we remake and recreate cars. So right now, my infatuation is with the P1. I love it because we now have to look at how we simulate the physics that are happening in that car in our game. Uh, the, the hybrid nature of it, how the suspension is architected, that actually has to be reproduced in the game, and that's a really interesting challenge. The combination of being able to make an object that works so well is a combination of art, uh, nature and science, where you can get something looking beautiful, performing beautiful, and finding out how to actually make it work. With cars like the McLaren P1, it's not just about top speed. In fact, it's more about how quickly it can go around a track, bending physics to its will. Really interested in how technology influences design. In Forza, we've had a lot of ideas, things we've wanted to bring to light for going on 10 years. Having learning opponents that, through cloud learning, can actually mirror human behavior, you know, bringing a humanistic opponent into your world, that is uh, it's kind of the holy grail of gaming. Coming. Much more, much more comprehensible in, in a human sense, mm -hmm. basically. I mean, technology is always changing. It's given us new, new borders, new frontiers, new limits, and, uh, and, and we're trying to crash those limits, too. On Forza Motorsport, we're obsessed with detail, getting every last detail right. Because it's the collection of those details that give you the rewarding and immersive experience. And in this way, we share a cultural component with McLaren. They sweat the details as well. How the aerodynamics creeps over the car. It's about form and function at the same time. We're, we're trying to develop what we call the uncompromised car. Uh, we don't accept compromises. The whole concept of perfection is unattainable, actually. I mean, you can pursue it, obviously, but you can't really attain it. To me, the thing I focus on the most is the ideas we leave behind. I love that, that process of throwing things away, working together, coming up with new ideas, iterating, evolving, that idea of evolution. We found in Forza 5, the best way to get towards perfection was to look at imperfections. What makes a car relatable? What makes it look human and real? And that came from the human hands that made that car. It came from the process that went into making it. And we've been waiting for technology to come along that inspires us to push that boundary even further. Something that we never could have done in the last generation. There's so much processing power, it's really a, a new territory to explore.